what's up everybody welcome so we're gonna be going over weeble right now not only just going over weeble but just going over how i use it on a day-to-day -day basis so just to get right into it you're gonna open up weeble you're gonna have the desktop uh browser of course or icon i mean whatever it is the desktop thing <laughs> after you have that you're gonna open it up create your account move up this widget right here to the top where it's the customized widget you're then going to click it so on your screen this is what you're going to see on my screen because i've actually done some different blank layouts and canvases this is what i would see because this is all the different sectors that i've just done over the course of the past couple of years so on your screen this is what you're going to see the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click blank layout the next thing you're going to do is you're going to look at the top right and you're going to see all the widgets you can add. It's the charts, it's the options like spread, it's the trading screen, time and sales. This is all the stuff that you have on a trading app. You have it all right here at your disposal. So what you want to do is after I basically create this little section and you basically go ahead and try to mimic what I'm doing here, I want you to look through all these widgets and try them all for yourselves because some of them are new, some of them have been updated and yeah it might actually help you out so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click the quote setting right here for the widgets you're going to click a chart click ok you're now going to adjust this chart and make it a decent size you know not nothing too crazy just a decent size so you're going to click here and it'll copy chart press ok throw the chart right here the reason why i like to throw a browser onto another browser when I create it, kind of like just throwing this onto here like this is because it makes it the same size, if that makes sense. So you don't have to really make stuff just equal and organized and stuff like that. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to add the options board. So you're going to click this. You're going to get the options board, options spread right here. I should say not the board. You're going to make this bigger, just like this. You can have them looking at all the, I mean, both sides, the calls, inputs. But for me personally, just so I can explain this better, I'm just going to click the call side right now. I'm going to hover over the strike prices. I'm going to click it. I'm going to put it to all instead of number six so I can have all the strike prices. The next thing I'm going to do with this options chart is right click it, click edit. I'm going to add the volume. Make sure that I have open interest right here added. I'm going to make sure the midpoint I don't have. I don't need to add that. And then I'm going to also make sure that implied volatility is added. Click done. And now your options chart is done. There's one more thing. You see how it says ascending strike price. I want you to have it so that it's descending strike price. So make sure that this arrow right here, as long as you can see it. I'm going around in circles right now. This little arrow right here, just make sure it's pointing down on your option spread. Now, once you have your chart, you look through it. You added your VWAP indicator right here. Because if you go on Weeble, if you click indicators, they're all right here. So you add all these indicators. Once you add all these indicators and your charts are done, your options uh, indicator, or your option spread is done. You're then going to add the quotes. So this is the one of the most important parts right here. We're going to spam this real quick. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to basically make this a little bit smaller. Put this right here. Make the top one smaller. Put this one right, right next to them. Make it a little bit smaller. And basically just going to do this the whole way down. This is how I always have the market at the palm of my hands. Because I can always see any name at any point at any time whatsoever and then all i had to do is simply just go to my chart right here click this letter s or see how it says like no letter or it says numbers and stuff like that click the letter s and then once you click a chart this chart is going to change to the name you click so let's see this right here let's see if i change this quote to tesla t s l a you see how now this chart right here to the left changes to tesla and this one doesn't change to Tesla, it's because this one is not selected to the letter S. If you hover over that, it says symbols will be changed by the widget selected. So it makes sense. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your options chart and do the same exact thing. Put it on the letter S. Now when you click Tesla, you're going to have that Tesla option spread. When you click SPY, it's just going to move. 
Now does everybody see why this is so important to have all these quotes of all the names? Because you can basically very easily just click it and go to the name. Look at the chart. Look at the options chart within five seconds. So I would then change this name, let's say, to SPX. This name right here, I could change it to Apple, AAPL. This name right here, I could change it to NVIDIA, NVDA. This name at the top, I could change it to QQQ. And as you can see, as long as I could just click the name, everything right here is just going to switch over. It's just going to consistently always switch over. And in the chart that I did not select the S4, it's not going to switch over. Now, this is the most important part about everything that I'm, I've just said. After you look through all the widgets and you tested what you like and what you don't like, of course, there's some stuff that I, I have that I don't really go through and add right now because I'm not too sure about them. I haven't used them too much. These are like the main three things that I use every day. And I just replicate it everywhere. And then like all these other widgets, I'll replicate it in a certain section for a certain reason. But it's not a priority, which is why I don't think I should go over it right now. Whatever I have right now is a priority, as well as what I'm about to tell you next, which is make sure that once you're done with your chart, you please save this. Go right here and save as a customized layout and then press whatever you want to save it as. Press save and that's it. That's all you have to do. Please just make sure you do that. There's been so many times where I've edited my chart and created a crazy new chart, just like something like this, and it wasn't saved. And I just absolutely just exploded seeing that. But so, yeah, so this is basically all I would say to do for for Weeble for now. And then probably later on today, if not tomorrow, I'll have a little bit more of a detailed uh, version for this. But, yeah, that's pretty much all for today. If you have any questions or something you want me to go over, just DM me or message me. And that's pretty much all. Hope you guys have a good day.